All right, in this video, I want to do a quick little introduction to Venn diagrams. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to label a Venn diagram by filling in the correct numerical values. And hopefully we'll take something kind of concrete and make a little bit of sense out of it. And then, uh, you know, talk about this a little further in some other, some other videos. Okay, so suppose we've got 20 people. Okay, so here's my 20 people. And suppose they're going to, you know, they're, they're in school. And if they've got an M above their head or below, uh, below them, that means they're taking math. So the first person's taking math, this person's taking math, so is this other person. If they have an A uh, next to them, that means they're taking art. So there's a couple people taking art, another person taking math, art, this person's not taking either, etc., etc. And then we've got some people in the bottom row that are, put, that are taking both math and art. So we've got one, two, three, four people that are taking math and art. Okay. So it looks like if we count up here, we've got 20 people total, and you can count that. So I'm going to fill in a little bit of information here. Okay, so let's count the number of people that are taking math. Okay, so it looks like we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It looks like there are 10 people that are taking math. You know, if we went through here and just asked everybody and counted. Um, taking art, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 people taking art. And it looks like, let's see, there's how many people taking both subjects? It looks like there's one, two, three. There's four people taking both subjects. Okay, we want to use this information to fill in our, our Venn diagram. And I've got a little Venn diagram down here at the bottom. Okay, so usually when you make a Venn diagram, you just make a little box. U stands for your universe. So in, our, in this problem, our universe would simply be these 20 people that we're talking to. Okay, and we just want to fill in some numerical values. I think that typically when you start filling in numerical values, you want to fill in the overlap. And you'll see as you go through these, there's a reason for that. Okay, so this little region right here in the middle, okay, I'm going to put a little X there. Notice that this little region is both inside the circle labeled M. And this, this little circle is going to contain all the people who are taking math. Um, it's also inside our circle A. Okay, and that circle A is going to have everybody inside of there that's taking art. Well, notice if you're where this little X is, you're in the overlap of the M circle and the A circle. That means you have both of these properties in common. That means you're taking both math and art. Well, how many people were taking both math and art? We said that there were a total of um, four people taking both subjects. So I would just label uh, that little overlap with the number four. Okay, now you have to be careful, okay? We said at the very beginning there are 10 people taking math. So it would be easy just to stick a 10 over here and say, well, there's 10 people taking math. But the problem is if you add up the numbers inside the circles, so suppose we did put a 10 in there. If you add these numbers together, that now mean it means now that there are 14 people total taking math. Okay, and let's think about it. You know, if so, where am I? I'm going to get rid of that here. Suppose we stick a little X in over here. Well, now I'm in the math circle, but I'm not in the art circle. So any 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 person that's uh, in the M circle but outside of the A circle, that means well, you're taking math but not art. Well, how many people were taking math but not art? Well, we could go through here and count. We could say there's one, two, three, four, five. There's six people who are taking math but not art. Likewise, we could deduce that. We know that there are 10 people taking math total, okay? But, you know, we're kind of double counting because four of those are taking both subjects. So what we can do is we can just take 10 minus 4. That's going to give us 6. And that's going to be the, the value that's going to go um, inside the M circle, but outside of the A circle. Okay, so this says there's six people taking math, but not art. Okay, well, what number would need to go um, in the A circle that's outside of the M circle? Well, we said there's seven people taking art, but we've already accounted for four of those people, which means there must be three people um, that are taking art only. 
Well, you can also put a number on the outside. Notice if we add these together, we'll get 6 plus 4 plus 3, or 13. Well, our universe had 20 people, so if we take 20 minus 13, that gives us 7. We could stick a 7 outside of both circles, and what that says is, it says there are 7 people who are taking neither math nor art. And we can go back and count. Let's see, there's one person here, two people, three, four, five, six. Hey, there are seven people, in fact, that are not taking either one of these classes. Okay, so this is all a, a Venn diagram oftentimes tries to do. It just simply tries to give you numerical values. And again, depending on what circles you're in, it either says you have that property, or if you're outside of a circle, it says you simply don't have that property. So in another video, I'm going to talk about, you know, kind of shading regions and notation and doing some uh, kind of some more generic stuff. But I think this is a good place to start uh, a nice concrete example.